So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Sapphire Pulse RX 5600 XT Black Edition, which is, you know, the Black Edition, it sounds like the higher end card, but really Black Edition here is kind of misleading because it's really the more stripped out version, which as you can see on the box itself, it's a pretty simple affair. It's just a simple box from Sapphire. Really like their card designs as well. It's pretty simple and it's not a bad thing. Sometimes it's you don't need flashy boxes to sell your cards and I guess Sapphire doesn't feel the need to. Anyways, the box is pretty simple. It just shows some of the features and stuff. There's not really much else to it. So let's just open it up and check out what's inside. So aside from this uh, plain looking brown box that the card itself comes in, you really don't get much. You just get this quick installation guide and also the address for Sapphire. And the card itself comes in this uh, bubble anti-static plastic bag, which protects the card from anti-static and uh, hurt, being hurt from shipping, I guess. And here you can see the Black Edition card is literally a black card all around. There's just a few accent colors on the back plate and on the fan helps with the Pulse branding, which is red. But yeah, let's take off the plastic for now. I think that was a pretty decent peel. But yeah, here you go. Finally, you can see the card itself. And here you go on the front, you see two 90mm fans, which Sapphire has put on this card. So they really maximized the size of the fans that I can put on this card. There really isn't any wasted space where they didn't put a heatsink either on, on the card. So the heatsink goes all the way to over the front of the PCB, like extending past it to the back of it as well. And here in the front, you can also see some cutouts for the flow through airflow design, which is kind of sa the same thing as what Nvidia has been so proud of, of their RTX 3000 Founders Edition cards. It's really nothing new. It's just so that the card can breathe better. Sapphire has been doing this for a while. And speaking of the flow through design, even with this Sapphire card, they also have one PCIe slot empty just for the exhaust to get out of the case immediately. It's also, again, not a brand new feature that Nvidia is touting. And on the back, you also get some uh, display ports and also some HDMI ports, which you can use and a full size exhaust port, like I said. And on the bottom here, you can also see the PCIe 4.0 X16 slot, which is a full size X16 slot, unlike the 5500 XT, which only has an X8 slot. And on the top side, you can also see the single eight pin power connector. Since this is really not a power hungry card, it has a locked TDP of about 160 Watts. So it really doesn't draw that much power. And the backplate itself is pretty nice. I would say it's a pretty nice looking card overall. It's just all matte black and just some shiny sheen on some of the accents on the backplate. And here you can also see the cutout for the GPU itself and the bracket for the heatsink. And on the front, again, they really use the biggest fans they can put on this card. It really goes from the back of the card all the way to the front. It's the front of it is all just fans in it. It's just a two massive fans and a big heatsink on this card. So even though it's one of the cheaper options from Sapphire, even for a 5600 XT, it's really not built to be cheap. It does feel pretty nice in your hand and it seems like Sapphire also has put, uh, put a lot of thought into the cooling design of this card, just like their other cards. Because as you can see, they also cool the memory and also the VRM components directly with the main heatsink, so they're not left to be hot and in my testing, this card stays really cool at just 60 or something degrees, below 70 degrees for sure, with really quiet fans that you really can't hear. And the memory also doesn't get that hot, only goes up to about mid 80s to like 90 degree maybe, it's not that bad. And well, it also looks pretty nice. So I think for a budget card for a 5600 XT, it's really one of the better options out there. And it's also might be one of the only ones in stock. But that's it for this unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please click like and please click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.